This was brought to you by Earth on YouTube and Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook. Okay, it's July the 14th, 2019 in Southern Illinois, Zone 6. This is my uh, grow, grow bed after I dug it all out and transferred the dirt. And I put it over here, like I said before, I was going to do. And now... I'm going to come in here and I'm going to clear all of this out. And I'm going to pull that dirt right there, put it down here inside of this, and bring it back this way if I can. Get a before picture. I'll keep you updated. This is July the 14th, 2019 in Southern Illinois, Zone 6. This is the pile of garbage mess that I got out of this hole after digging it. And I'm going to uh, keep you updated on everything after I get this cleared up. I still have to do another hole over there, so. Okay, it's July the 24th, the 1st, 2019, in Southern Illinois, Zone 6. Today, I'm going to be digging out around the side of the shed for the growth thing. Making a trench from here. Okay, July the 21st, 2019, in Southern Illinois, Zone 6. I wanted to show you the mess I made after digging that trench right there. This is root systems and this is my trash pile. I also went and trimmed up this tree right here and that is the limbs and branches. I want to take a picture keep you updated on where I'm at with my uh, cleaning and digging. Digging and cleaning.
Hey, it's J July the 21st, 2019, Zone 6 in Southern Illinois. This is my trench that I dug so that I could put chicken wire down along the edge of this. Now that that's done, I put the chicken wire on, and then I'll move on to this side. This has concrete here, so I'm not going to be able to do uh, trench so I'm just going to go ahead and anchor it to the side of the okay it is July the 23rd 2019 in southern Illinois zone 6 this is an update on my okra grow bread grow bed I uh, had to quit the other day when I did video because we had rain it started coming down I went right up to the last minute of it and I got everything done except for this part. And that's, that area right there began to sink in today when I went out to check it. It's been two days. So we had one layer. I uh, had to put down 15 buckets of dirt. And I pulled 33 buckets of dirt out of there. So that means I'm going to have to pull another 15 to 18 buckets there. Just wanted to keep you updated on what's happening. Okay, it's July the 23rd, 2019 in Southern Illinois, Zone 6. And I'm updating you on my fencing that's going back behind our shed. <clears throat> I had to quit digging the other day because of rain. It was coming in and I was digging all the way up to it. But this is how deep I've gotten it so far. And this is chicken wire that I'm going to be putting down there and I checked it out and it's that high up from this point right here so that means I gotta do something with that amount of uh, chicken wire now I could dig out from there farther and just lay it down on the ground or I could dig deeper I'm thinking about just digging out going from there but I'm gonna take a picture of it I wanted to update everybody on what's going on okay it's July the 23rd 2019 in southern Illinois zone 6 um, this is an update on my digging back behind the shed I uh, uh, so far I got this much done and uh, this is actually a video for the cleanup to show what all came out of it. But I showed this before and I showed this, but I wanted to go back over it some. Now, when I started digging through this, this is glass, okay? This is what I've been finding in there. And I've found it a little bit in different parts that I've dug in, but I've been finding it a lot back here. And this right here this is all root systems and I've been finding it in there I found that much I found a whole bunch of it over here and over here so this is the roughest part of the yard and I'm starting to tackle it but I just wanted to make an update and let everybody see that so that you know okay it's July the 23rd 2000 19 in zone 6 southern Illinois so this is an update I've finished this grow bed and I will be putting uh, cucumbers and spaghetti squash down in this area I finally got a thing of bricks here and after I put the cucumbers and spaghetti squash down I'll be cleansing this off with the chicken I can get a good picture. Okay, it's July the 24th, 2019 in Southern Illinois, Zone 6. I finally got uh, my trench out not far enough as I wanted it to where I could put the fence down and then lay it flat on the ground and then cover it with dirt. And I came over here 
I cleared this off and what I'm going to do is just put a post here and then run over here somewhere and then run the chicken wire across it because I don't have very much space there for digging out a trench like I did back in the back so I'm going to just go ahead and run my chicken wire like I hooked up a post like this. But I figured I'd fill you guys in and let you see what it looks like so far. Get a couple pictures here. Okay, it's July the 24th, 2019 in Southern Illinois, Zone 6. I started doing a cleanup on my concrete slab back in the back. And this is what I've done so far. I have a little pile of shrub and everything down here and what's left in my mess. But I got to clean up. I resituated everything and pulled stuff out of here. Now I gotta get it all cleaned up. I've got some sticks that I'm gonna use for uh, posts and stuff like that for trellises and fent uh, fencing and everything. So this is where I'm at so far. And Right here is what it looks like back here, but this is my mess so far from digging up that back in there and back, and I finally got this filled in, but I got that right here. This is more shrub that I've got here. This is my mess right here from digging my trench right there. So that's my update on everything so far when it comes to digging and cleanup. And I'll keep you posted. Okay, it's July the 26th, 2019 in Southern Illinois, Zone 6. This is an update on our uh, garden for spaghetti squash. Finally got all the plastic down. I put some uh, stones on it to keep the plastic down for now. And I am going to put fencing up from here. All the way here and then over to here and I will pin that to the deer fence for now I'm thinking about maybe going this way but I ran out of plastic so I don't know so let me get a picture and I will keep you updated on how this goes okay it's July the 26, 2019 in Southern Illinois, Zone 6. This is an update on my grow bed here. This is going to have to be grassed out. And after it is, I'm going to transfer dirt from the front yard where we're doing the flowers and everything. And then I'm going to take dirt from back there and put it up front. So, I just wanted to add that in, let you guys know, and I'll be done with this. So far I have two layers of dirt all the way up to here. I've only got two layers of dirt on this one. I'm going to put another layer up in that grow bed, and then i got to put another layer here, and then two layers there. If that makes sense. But... I figured I would take pictures and give you guys an update. It's 
July the 26th, 2019 in Zone 6, Southern Illinois. And today I wanted to make a video about the water grass that we have in the yard. I've been working on getting all these grow beds done. That right there is lavender and chia. So that's why it's high with the grass too. But, um, just wanted to walk around and let you see that since I've been doing that, I haven't had time to really keep up with the grass. And when July came, I ended up getting hit with a lot of grass. Over on that side, I already tore down some, and I got some down there, but not here, in between all this. And over here, that's all grown out and along the sides there, and then along the sides of my cantaloupes. This did this to me last year, and I uh, thought I was going crazy because it had, I thought it would take longer for it to happen, but it didn't. It just happened in less than two weeks. So this is what I've got to clean up now, and once I get these cleaned up, I'll start setting up for fall crops or for fall, fall, fall vegetables but I just wanted to get a shot of that and on top of that another thing that was bad was my weed eater's battery is dead and my lawnmower went out so I'm having to pull all this by hand okay it's July the 30th 2019 zone 6 in southern Illinois uh, today I wanted to show you the ground with the tall water grass. Finally I was able to get around and pull them out. Like I said, the mower and the uh, weed eater uh, broke down so I had to go and actually pull it out by hand. What I did is I just took the grass and I left it down to where it could smother out whatever wants to grow here. It's, it's hot out too. so. That'll help out with what I'm wanting to do. And then when it gets tall again, I just go through and I pull it out and leave it where it lays. Um, I did it last year and it helped out around the cantaloupes. So this year I'm doing it with the whole garden. I was finally able to till out these. I've still got to do these totes. And I've got to pull up the carrots out of that. But that one's taken care of, and so is that one. And got all this knocked down now. And I have all of this down. I gotta pull this up again, this up, because it's growing through, and what I do is, like I said, I just throw it back down. Cleaned up all the uh, messes from here and I had one here too and then I had another one from all the stuff that I pulled out of the garden everything that's trash it was right here so that's all cleared up I still got to get one from over here and then one from way right over there behind the shed but I can get to that I pulled all the weeds up out of this grow bed and then right here and then all the way down so that's what I got there you go start talking okay this is the stuff that I've somewhat pulled out already now you can tell Anyone that knows what metal does and when it rust, and you can look through here, the, the gray, that's from rust as well. And I got glass and on plastic and who knows what else. And this is zone six in West Frankfort, Illinois. And I'm cleaning the process and you can tell, look at this here, a big old clump right here. That's from a coffee can. I'm emptying all the coffee cans. I found roly polies inside the thing. 
when I'm taking them out. Wait, it's, what, what is today? It's the 21st, September the 21st. Yeah, September the 21st. 2019. 2019. And this stuff is really hard. And that's what I'm referring to. And, okay, you look and you see how what, uh, some of these can coffee cans are. Take some shots inside the cage. And our trusty uh, watchdog. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to use this as well. What I'm doing is I'm taking all the material because some plants need a real good uh, moisture thing. This has got a little bit of everything into it. Into it. These are the containers I'm using, but you see, that's what clean dirt looks like when it's all that dirt, rock, and garbage is out of it. And for what you see out here, this is the amount of rocks I found in it, from small to large. As well, and you see right here, okay, it's, it's real small. Never would have seen, I would never would have seen it when I'm putting it in, in the dirt. I mean, putting it in containers, but yeah, keep that separate and all that. And you got the seeds drying out here, okay. Lift that up and see what you got on like that cage. Oh. You see all them roly polies? That's from one coffee can. Mm -hmm. See what I mean, Roger? Look at that. That guy sitting there saying that. Do you see how many roly polies are po popping up and out? Oh, yeah. Okay, now, what was he using to keep all these things from climbing in the coffee cans? Does he, you know, was talking about what climate, or did he have rolly colies, or what? We would like to know because what area he's from. <laughs> but he, you see the amount of rolly colies uh, and a few other types of insects were in there. Well, you got to remember, most people that are on YouTube, a lot of them are from freaking like Malibu, California, or they're from Florida, yeah. or Hawaii. They, they've got like tropical weather where they can grow really anything. Yeah. We're in the Midwest. Well, look at that cigarette butt. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You never know what you come across. And out here, we're going to be doing that as well, too. Checking through the soil. And, but, yeah. And, this is we're like concrete almost. Did you ever get that one big chunk? Yeah, that thing was like like a work by itself. That's what I was saying to you. Like <clears throat> after we get really good with the dirt, we'd be able to sit through it and find the different textures of dirt. Like yeah. some plants need, you know, uh, you know, the hard dirt like that, and then some of it needs the soft moisture. Yeah. Yeah. More precise. Yeah. And what I'm going to do too is use our food point, uh, mix it in with some of the material from our harvest. This is the compost. I haven't even done this on the gardening videos yet. And, it's, and on some of it, we took the skins and all that, put it in the containers and all that, to build up the, the, the material for other plants, to, like plant food. And you see how color of that to that.
Yeah. Cool. Right here. You would think that this was a chunk of dirt, but it's not. If if you can't go like this or like this, then it's not dirt. <laughs> Even as hard as it is. But you want to make sure too, whatever stuff you put in with it, it holds some kind of moisture to help the soil not be so rock hard and it's not so hard on the roots as well. Okay, this is Robert Hansen. So, I don't know say. Okay. Is it? Um, oh, and one thing, um, when you do, do, do this, you want to make sure you got a bucket and you do the three things. Rock, dirt, and garbage nearby. But you see how many right there and how many are cleaned. Okay. You also did those too. Yeah. Yeah. But out of them, I found a bunch of roly polies and other things up in, in there too. I had to take a hammer to them to, to break up the soil to where it could fall out. I'll uh, give you an demonstration. Okay, you see that. In here, I'm kind of tilting because this doesn't need to go to the Okay, well, okay, but you see in here, okay, like this right here. Here, and you can see the rest spots, the gray is rest. what I'm saying too, if you can break like that and just uh, with compost, well you can put some of it in and it will help with it too. That's why we did that. But wood compost on certain plants, certain trees, you want to do it, but some don't. You have to find check for what plants will accept it and what won't accept it. But look, it looks like that. <laughs> Ricochet, but you see how even on rock, rust will show up on him. And that's one thing you do want to see too. There's a stone right there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's rust. Look at this. Like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> it, yeah. Yeah, you see what that is. Um, yep. <laughs> Alright. So let me go ahead and okay. end it right here. Oh wait, that's a good one. Yeah. That. Kind of move that around to where we can get some sunlight. Too. Alright, I'm gonna end it here. Okay. This was brought to you by Earth on YouTube and Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback. Uh -huh.